Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today's video is going to be on the topic of CS2 investing. So the release of CS2 is upon us. We don't know exactly when it's going to come out, but it's very likely that it will release in the summer. Crossing my fingers that it doesn't get delayed. But regardless, now is a pretty good time to buy into some different items that could end up being a very valuable investment when CS2 releases. No sponsor on this video, but if you want to go ahead and support me, I have some links to different marketplaces in the description below that will directly support the channel if you buy some skins on there. They're cheaper than the Steam market, so if you want to pick up some of these investments, that might be a good option. Alright, so the first items that I want to touch on here are going to be the MAC-10 Gold Brick and the Og Carved Jade. Now, while these skins are for somewhat more unpopular weapons, both of these items look very nice with the lighting updates that are going to be added in the release of CS2. The Og Carved Jade especially looks very, very nice. It's like a very shiny emerald knife, and its lighting overhaul will likely bring a lot of eyes to it. Now again, this is for the AUG and the MAC-10, which are not necessarily the most collectible when it comes to skins, but the lighting update alone should give these a big spotlight. Now the reason I'm grouping these two together is because they also happen to be Operation skins. This also bodes well for their prices because they are a lot less obtainable than they originally were on their release. So even if for whatever reason the lighting update is not a huge factor here, the items should still be a relatively safe investment in the long term as the play decreases on these older operations. For those of you with a little bit more cash to splash around or maybe you just want a nice play skin investment, an option that fits into these two categories is also the Blue Phosphor. The Blue Phosphor is actually for the M4A1S, which is important to note because that is a much more popular item to use in the game. Similarly, the Blue Phosphor also looks great with the lighting update and is also an operation skin. However, it's normally better to prefer quantity in this case, so if you only have the money to just buy one Blue Phosphor and and you are strictly looking for an investment, then it might be a better idea to just concentrate into Og Carved Jades or MAC-10 Gold Bricks. But you know, if you want to play a skin that should be pretty successful going forward, that's going to be the Blue Phosphor. Now a bit of an interesting one here, and definitely more for the budget investors, we actually have the Desert Eagle Bronze Deco. This is actually a blue from the Chroma case, and definitely a little bit of an odd choice. But there is logic behind it. Now while it's obviously not fully discontinued because you can just open more chroma cases, the chroma case is surprisingly getting to that point where it's a little bit harder to come by than it used to be. And when CS2 releases and the unboxing numbers are understandably extremely high, the chroma case should also be a fairly popular case to open due to the increased chance of a Doppler knife. The bronze deco actually looks pretty nice with the lighting update as well, and it's for the deagle, so for those of you that are looking to ball on a budget, it may be a better option. It's not going to have that nice operation unobtainable factor for it, but the chroma case is getting pretty old, and its price is already climbing up there, so it's something to be wary of. Another skin that people have talked about a little bit, and I believe Sparkles did some trade-ups for it as well, due to it potentially seeing an update in CS2, was the USP Trader. However, after looking at the skin in CS2, it actually doesn't look like it got too much of an update. It definitely does look nicer for sure, but it's not anything to stand out, and furthermore it's from a recent case that is still in the active drop pool, so it's very unlikely that it would actually be that great of an investment. I just wanted to clarify that because I did see some people talking about it being a potentially really good investment. And coming in definitely more on the play skin side of things, we have Doppler knives, specifically black pearls. This is obviously going to cost a ton if you want to pick one of these up, so it's not something you can just mass buy and invest in a whole ton of quantity. But yes, Doppler knives all look absolutely fantastic in CS2, especially black pearls. Those got a huge overhaul. They definitely look a little bit more like they deserve their 1 in 100 rarity, so I wanted to mention that and get it out of the way. Not the optimal investment strategy because you're not buying a huge quantity and you're not going to be able to take advantage of the multiplication effect, but it is something that will definitely see a lot of hype and Dopplers should see positive price increases across the board. The same also goes for fade knives. Fade knives also look very, very nice with the new lighting, and there's other knives that look very good as well. But in general, obviously, these are going to be very expensive and hard to obtain, and aren't going to be the optimal investment strategy, but rather better if you just want like a play skin investment. Now, speaking of high quantity, I've actually heard a lot of people talk about the CZ Silver as well. Unfortunately, as it currently stands, the CZ is a very unpopular weapon, and the Silver is very obtainable, so it's unlikely that will bear much fruit. Instead, I would rather direct your attention towards the Dual Bredas Emerald. The Dual Bredas Emerald have a similar paint finish to the CZ Silver. However, the Dual Bredas have actually been surprisingly popular in pro play. When I was watching the Blast Pro Major, I actually saw the Dual Bredas pop up a lot. They also come from the Canals Collection, so again, an operation. They are definitely more on the expensive side compared to the CZ Silver, but I definitely believe they have a lot of potential. So as far as pistols go, that's probably going to be the better option. The CZ Silver is from the Ancient Collection, but that's nowhere near on the same levels of unobtainable as the Canals Collection is. This CZ Silver is still obviously a lot cheaper, so you can buy a lot more of them, and who knows, maybe the CZ will get a nice buff in CS2. Now I did see a video that specifically focused on the 5.7 Flame test. Unfortunately, it was done by somebody that pretty much had no idea what he was talking about. The 5.7 Flame Test is from the Clutch Collection, and he was comparing the skin to the 5.7 Copper Galaxy and the Glock Twilight Galaxy. 
However, this is something that he obviously didn't research very much, because if you go ahead and look at the finish style, the Copper Galaxy and Twilight Galaxy are actually anodized multicolored, whereas the Flame Test is actually the Gunsmith style, which means the CS2 lighting update will affect our Galaxy Brothers a little bit differently than it'll affect the Flame Test. And that of course is ignoring the fact that it's a 5.7, a pretty unpopular pistol, and it's also a blue from a relatively cheap case, so just wanted to go ahead and debunk that video real quick. With CS2 coming out, there's a lot of misinformation out there, so be critical about what you're watching. Speaking of the Twilight Galaxy, I do think it is actually a pretty solid investment itself. It's from the Chop Shop collection, which is very, very old, and an unobtainable operation collection. It's also on the Glock, which is obviously the default pistol for T-Side, so that bodes very well for its price. Again though, it is very expensive as it is extremely old and pink tier, so it'll be hard to get your hands on, but if you want a nice play skin CS2 Glock, there you go. Now, normal map skins have also been a pretty popular topic when it comes to CS2, one of these being the AK Cartel, which has historically been a somewhat unpopular AK due to the fact that it's not really that much different from a default AK. If CS2 is anything like CSGO, the AK should still be an extremely popular weapon going forward. There's not really very many AKs that actually do take advantage of the skin updates. It's also from the older Chroma collections like the Deagle Bronze Deco, so that's something to keep in mind as well. I personally believe the cartel may still be pretty unpopular. Vivid colors have also been a popular topic when it comes to CS2 skin investing. One example of this is the M4 Chantico's Fire, which looks a little bit more vivid and crisp. Now while I personally don't think this will be a massive factor for drawing eyes, it's another thing to keep in mind. There are plenty of very bright and colorful skins in CS that really don't have that metal flashbang glow. Now this video was specifically centered on skins, but I have actually talked about other CS2 investments, specifically stickers, so if you want to go ahead and get an idea of the best stickers to invest into, then I have a video for that as well. I plan to make more CS2 investing content as the date draws closer, and it'll be fun to see how high these prices actually go once it's actually released, but it's a very new and unpredictable thing, so who knows. Good luck! So guys, that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and potentially found some investment targets. Like I said earlier, prices are very cheap right now, so now is a good time to purchase some of these investments. And of course, if you want to go ahead and purchase them using Skinport, GamerPay, or Float Market, if you use any of the links in the description below, it'll actually support the channel directly for no added cost to you. And if you don't have some money to splash around on skins, you can always just go ahead and click that like button. It's completely free, and it helps me a vast amount. Also, be sure to subscribe for the best investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. The video that I'm going to put up in about two days should prove that fact a little bit more. And if you have any investment questions whatsoever, you can always go ahead and DM me on Twitter or Discord completely for free. I will never charge you any money for any information, unlike some other YouTubers. So with that aside, thanks again for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace.